together across all time and space as the people of God. You in the highest. We now bless our palms and our hands as the work of God. Our hands, God's work as we bless our palms. We bless all those who work on our behalf, caring for those in need in this time. <coughs> we praise you, O oh God, for our hands, for redeeming the world through your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Today he entered the holy city in triumph and was proclaimed Messiah and King. By those who spread garments and branches along his way, bless these branches and those who carry them. Grant us grace to follow our Lord in the way of the cross, so that joined in his death and resurrection we enter into the life with you. Through the same Jesus Christ who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.
dear Lord, with those who work on our behalf, Keep watch, dear Lord. Keep watch on those who weep this morning. And give your angels charge over those who are still at rest. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless those who are in care now. Soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous as we raise our palms this day, and all for your love's sake. The Gospel, Matthew 21, 1 through 11. The Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When they had come near Jerusalem and had reached Bethphage at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village ahead of you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, just say this, The Lord needs them, and he will send them immediately. This took place to fulfill what had been spoken through the prophet, saying, Tell the daughter of Zion, Look, your king is coming to you, humble, and mounted on a donkey, and on a colt, the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had directed them. They brought the donkey and the colt, and put their cloaks on them, and he sat on them. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, and others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and that had followed were shouting, Hosanna to the son of David! Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. When he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was in turmoil, asking, Who is this? The crowds were saying, This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Hosanna, save us. We shout Hosanna this morning. And it means save us. Hosanna means save us. Anytime you hear that, just automatically make that transition and translation to save us. Hosanna, Hosanna, save us, save us, save us. And I do so, I shout this on your behalf. Here in your sanctuary, and we shout this, in the heights and beyond. And we do so with great shared urgency. Because, truth be told, dear Holy Cross, I'm a bit worn out already. Just from trying to remind myself and those around me to not touch your face. Oh, no, don't touch your face. And Purell, Purell, Purell. I'm tired. I'm tired of pretending that I can save myself with new Zoom skills or Facebook Live or a six-foot bubble that I try and create with my bike and other bikers out there on Skyline Parkway with walkers and runners. It's fatiguing. So what I'm interested in this year especially is the love that rides in on a donkey and says, yes, this is tough, but we can do tough things together, supported by the word and the sacraments. Because even here, even now, God is still God. Even here, grace abounds. Even here, love wins. If you're doing okay, if life is great in your personal world today, then blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord to be sure. But beloved, if you are feeling down inside from some anxiety or despair or hardship, 
then another option sounds good as well. Add that Hosanna and do it consistently. Save me. For Jesus rides into every single place of despair and hardship and anxiety and division and worst case scenarios. And yes, all the way to death and says, blessed. I'm here. Jesus rides into the ICU units and the graves and into every shaky, isolated human heart and says, I am here. I am. of comfort and convenience that surrounded our lives and that we never considered a blessing but always just took for granted forgive us for we who must grieve in isolation and not in community comfort us for we who are sick including our dear Anders Breidenbach protect him and protect us for the ability to, to turn off all the fear and unhelpful commentary and worst case scenario, clickbait, strengthen us. For the times when we are all out of creative ideas for how to get through this with cooped up kids, inspire us. For we who are not cutting our and for those who are cutting our own hair at home, guide us for the grace to allow ourselves and others to just be less productive, shower us. For the generosity needed for those of us who have more resources, empower us. For our own selfish inclinations, deliver us. For just being your children, none of whom have 
gone through a global pandemic before, love us. For the days ahead, accompany us. God, unbound by time, help us to know that you are already present in the future. The future that we do have some fear for, and yet are so hopeful for with palms in hand. Amen. request that we would pray the Lord's Prayer together. And as you are back at home and there are those around you, go ahead and hold their hands as we stand in solidarity with one another, the shared prayer that our Lord Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Breathe, breathe and feel the spirit filling your whole body. Breathe in and out. Breathe and give thanks with me. Breath, it is a wild gift every single time. Breathe and acknowledge the grief of your plans changing. The fear of uncertain things, looming large to bear alone. Breathe and consider how well Christ knows, how fiercely God cares. Breathe and lift up. Lift up your neighbor more vulnerable still. Breathe and believe we are in this together. And the next right thing is enough. But first, remember to breathe. This is a blessing for pandemic fear. 
written by my dear friend and colleague, Pastor Maida Herrick Carlson. Breathe. Now with Julie on our beautiful organ, and I wanna thank Mr. Wade, Matt Wade, for playing the trumpet. If you missed it, I believe you can go ahead and go back in the video and listen as he again raises the roof, our sanctuary here on Arlington. Now, dear Holy Cross, go forth in the world to serve God with gladness. Be of good courage. Hold fast to that which is good. Render to no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak. Help the afflicted, honor all people, love and serve God, rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit. Thanks be to God. Okay, as we go along, we will continue to worship with one another, either from uh, the Johnson's living room or from our living room right here, our sanctuary at Holy Cross. All my love, the girls send their love as well, and we will be back together soon. <laughs> 